Half a million people are living on top of a supervolcano that won't stop shaking. Over 5,100 earthquakes have rattled the ground beneath Naples this year, more than were recorded in all of last year combined. The strongest tremor in four decades struck in June, causing a coastal ridge to collapse into the sea. Scientists are monitoring around the clock. The Italian government has approved over a billion euros for emergency preparations. And the question everyone is asking, when will Campi Flegre erupt? The terrifying answer, no one knows. This is the situation in the suburbs west of Naples, Italy right now. The ground is shaking, constantly. Not every day, but multiple times per week. Small tremors that rattle windows and nerves. Moderate quakes that send residents running into the streets. And occasionally, powerful earthquakes strong enough to crack buildings and collapse infrastructure. The numbers tell a stark story. In 2025, the Campi Flegre Caldera, a massive volcanic system stretching eight miles wide beneath the towns of Pozzuoli, Bacoli, and Monte di Procida, has recorded more than 5,100 earthquakes. That's more seismic activity than the 4,900 earthquakes logged during all of 2024. The frequency is increasing, the intensity is escalating, and scientists can't say with certainty what it means. On June 30th, 2025, the region was hit by a magnitude 4.6 earthquake, the strongest tremor recorded in 40 years. The shaking was violent enough to cause part of a coastal ridge called Punta Penada to collapse into the Gulf of Bacoli. Residents described hearing a massive rumble, feeling their homes shake violently, and watching debris fall from buildings. It wasn't an aftershock. It wasn't a one-time event. It was the latest and most powerful in a relentless sequence of tremors that has defined life in this region for the past several years. The Italian Civil Protection Department maintains the area at yellow alert status, the attention phase, indicating low to medium volcanic unrest. That's one step below orange, which triggers evacuations. The alert level was confirmed as recently as November 4, 2025, meaning authorities are actively watching the system and preparing for the possibility that conditions could worsen rapidly. But here's what's truly alarming. This isn't a volcano that's been dormant for millennia, suddenly showing signs of life. This is a super volcano that has produced some of the largest eruptions in European history. And it's waking up. What's happening beneath the surface is even more disturbing than the earthquakes themselves. The ground in this region is rising, slowly, relentlessly, and without any indication of stopping. Since 2005, the land at Campi Flegre has lifted approximately 1.4 meters. That's about 4.6 feet. To put that in perspective, imagine the floor of your house rising nearly five feet over two decades. Roads that were once level now slope. Docks that once met the waterline now sit higher. Buildings have shifted on their foundations. And the uplift is accelerating. Current measurements show the ground rising at roughly 10 millimeters per month. That's about 0.4 inches, or nearly half an inch, every 30 days. This phenomenon is called bradyseism, the slow vertical movement of land caused by underground magma movement or the expansion of pressurized hydrothermal fluids. In this case, scientists believe both mechanisms are at play. In September 2025, researchers from Stanford University and Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology published a groundbreaking study using artificial intelligence to analyze seismic data. The AI model detected more than 54,000 earthquakes between 2022 and 2025, four times more than had been previously identified through traditional monitoring. That's not a typo. Four times more earthquakes than scientists knew were happening. The analysis revealed something even more concerning, a hidden ring fault structure deep beneath the caldera, along with two converging fault lines directly under the town of Pozzuoli. These faults act as pressure release points. When stress builds up from the rising ground, the faults fracture, generating earthquakes. The more pressure accumulates, the stronger the quakes become. Another study published in May 2025 identified the mechanism driving many of these tremors. Researchers found that water and vapor in the geothermal reservoir beneath the caldera are building up pressure because the overlying rock, the caprock, is acting as a seal. 
When the pressure exceeds the rock's strength, it fractures suddenly, releasing energy in bursts. Residents report hearing deep rumbling sounds before and during earthquakes. The sound of pressurized fluids forcing their way through fracturing rock. The system is venting, but it's not fully releasing. And the pressure keeps building. Approximately half a million people live in what's officially designated as the Red Zone, the area immediately surrounding the caldera that faces the highest risk from volcanic eruptions, pyroclastic flows, and toxic gas emissions. Another 800,000 people live in the Yellow Zone, which could be impacted by significant ashfall if an eruption occurs. Combined, that's more than 1.3 million people living in the shadow of an active supervolcano. On March 13, 2025, a magnitude 4.4 earthquake struck in the early hours. At least 11 people required hospital treatment. One woman was pulled from a partially collapsed building in the Bagnoli district with minor injuries. Across Podswoli, residents reported cracks splitting through walls, ceilings collapsing, and debris falling onto parked vehicles. Many families refused to go back inside their homes, instead spending the night sleeping in their cars, terrified of aftershocks. Schools were closed throughout Pozzuoli, Bacoli, and Bagnoli following the quake. Train and metro services were temporarily suspended for structural inspections. Another magnitude 4.4 earthquake on May 13th forced similar closures, with schools evacuated midday and transportation networks shut down as engineers assessed damage. But here's a critical detail that offers some reassurance. Despite thousands of earthquakes and multiple strong tremors, no deaths have been directly attributed to this ongoing seismic crisis. Injuries have been minor. Structural damage, while real, has been manageable. The buildings haven't collapsed en masse. Emergency services have responded effectively. Still, the psychological toll is immense. Imagine living every day knowing that the ground beneath your home could shake violently at any moment. That your children's school could be evacuated without warning. That you might have just 72 hours to leave everything behind if authorities declare an emergency. Scientists at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, the agency responsible for monitoring Campi Flegre, are choosing their words carefully. INGV director Mauro Di Vito has stated publicly, we continue to monitor minute by minute, but we must avoid alarmism. The data does not indicate worrying developments. Read that statement closely. Avoid alarmism doesn't mean there's nothing to worry about. It means officials don't want panic. Data does not indicate worrying developments is carefully worded. It's not saying the situation is safe. It's saying current data doesn't show an imminent eruption. International researchers have been more direct. Multiple studies published in 2025 note that an eruption is not necessarily imminent, but that phrasing is telling. They can't rule it out. They can't say it won't happen. They're hedging because the honest answer is, we don't know. Experts have also warned that earthquakes up to magnitude 5.0 are possible in this system. That's significantly stronger than anything recorded so far. A magnitude 5.0 earthquake in a densely populated urban area could cause widespread structural damage, collapse older buildings, and potentially kill people. The official risk classification at the current yellow alert level is low to medium low probability of eruption. But probability isn't certainty, and low doesn't mean zero. And the pattern is clear. Conditions are intensifying, not stabilizing. In 2025, Campi Flegre has experienced five earthquakes above magnitude 4.0 the highest annual count since modern monitoring began. That's five times the region was hit by tremors strong enough to cause structural damage, evacuations, and widespread alarm. Compare that to previous years when magnitude 4.0 events were rare outliers and the trend becomes undeniable. In mid-February 2025, the caldera was rocked by an intense earthquake swarm. 672 tremors over just four days. The strongest reached magnitude 3.9. During those four days, ground monitoring stations detected localized uplift of one centimeter, about 0.4 inches, in just 48 hours. The ground surged upward in real time, driven by pressure pulses from below. On November 25, 2025, just days ago, 
Another magnitude 3.3 earthquake rattled the region. It was the latest in an unbroken sequence of seismic activity that shows no signs of slowing. The frequency of earthquakes is increasing. The magnitude of the strongest tremors is rising. The ground uplift rate is accelerating. Every metric that volcanologists use to assess volcanic unrest is trending upward, and no one can say where the ceiling is or when the system will hit it. The last time Campi Flegre erupted was September 29, 1538. That eruption created Monte Nuovo, a volcanic cone that rose 123 meters high in just one week. It wasn't a super volcanic event, but it demonstrated that this caldera is capable of explosive activity with little warning. The most recent comparable crisis occurred in 1982 through 1984, when the ground rose approximately six feet and more than 16,000 earthquakes struck the region over two years. 40,000 people were evacuated from the town of Pozzuoli. The unrest eventually subsided without an eruption. But the evacuation was real, the danger was real, and the precedent was set. Campi Flegre has also produced two of the largest volcanic eruptions in Europe over the past 40,000 years. This isn't a minor volcanic system. It's a super volcano with a catastrophic history. The Italian government is taking this threat seriously, even if they're careful not to say so in those exact words. In November 2025, the European Investment Bank approved up to 1.4 billion euros, that's roughly 1.5 billion US dollars, for reconstruction and seismic resilience improvements in the Campi Flegre area. Over half a billion euros are earmarked for private buildings. Another 850 million euros are designated for public infrastructure. That's not the budget you allocate for a threat you think is overblown. Italian Civil Protection conducted a major national exercise called Exe Flegre 2025 on November 5th and 6th, testing evacuation procedures, including naval evacuations from the port of Naples. Sardinia and Sicily participated as designated host regions for evacuees. The exercise wasn't theoretical. It simulated the actual 72-hour evacuation window that authorities have established for moving half a million people out of the red zone if the alert level is raised to orange or red. When governments are spending over a billion euros and rehearsing mass evacuations, they're not being alarmist, they're being realistic. The range of possible outcomes is wide and deeply uncertain. Best case scenario, the system continues venting pressure through earthquakes and gradual ground uplift without progressing to an eruption. The tremors remain manageable, infrastructure holds, Residents adapt to living with constant seismic activity. Life continues, albeit under perpetual low-level threat. Worst case scenario, the pressure buildup reaches a critical threshold, magma rises toward the surface, and the system transitions from unrest to eruption. Depending on the eruption's intensity, that could mean anything from a localized explosive event, like the 1538 Monte Nuovo eruption, to a far larger catastrophic eruption that buries surrounding areas in pyroclastic flows and ash. Current scientific assessment suggests that the earthquakes and ground uplift are primarily driven by pressurized water and gases in the hydrothermal system, not by rising magma. That's reassuring because hydrothermal systems can vent pressure without triggering eruptions. But scientists also acknowledge they can't definitively rule out magma involvement. The distinction between hydrothermal unrest and magmatic unrest is critical, and it's not always clear until conditions escalate. The honest answer is, we're watching a system that's showing signs of instability, and we won't know how it will resolve until it does. As of this recording, the ground beneath Campi Flegre is still rising. Earthquakes are still occurring. Half a million people are still living on top of an active volcanic system that scientists are monitoring minute by minute because they can't predict what it will do next. The yellow alert remains in place, not because the threat has diminished, but because conditions haven't yet crossed the threshold that would trigger evacuations. That threshold is determined by technical criteria related to seismic intensity, ground deformation rates, and gas emissions. When those metrics reach certain levels, the alert escalates. And when it escalates, the clock starts ticking on a 72-hour evacuation of half a million people. The system could calm down. It has before. Or it could continue escalating. No one knows which path it will take. 
And that uncertainty is exactly what makes this so dangerous. You can't prepare for an event you can't predict. You can only watch and wait. Campi Flegre has recorded over 5,000 earthquakes this year. The ground has risen nearly five feet since 2005. Half a million people live in the red zone. Evacuation drills are being conducted. Billion euro emergency funds are being deployed. And the supervolcano keeps rumbling. Stay informed. This story isn't over.